Election Day is about two weeks away, and candidates are knocking on doors before you decide. People living in the south central part of Fort Wayne will have a choice in who will represent them on city council next year. Fox 55's Cody Butler has more on the race in the 5th District. District 5 has seen more development over the last decade than any other city council district in Fort Wayne. That's because it includes all of downtown. This year, Democrat Jeff Paddock is being challenged by Republican Taylor Van Over to represent the area. There's been a lot of buzz around Fort Wayne's 5th District as it transforms into a destination. The most recent being Promenade Park. I believe it's important that we uh, preserve the core of our city and make sure that we're investing in it and seeing that jobs are coming into our area. There is also an increased focus in neighborhoods. In the 5th District, it means more than just fixing alleys and streets, some of which is already in the works, as in electric works. We could work together to renovate that old factory and make it attractive, increase property values and bring jobs into the central part of our city. Jeff Paddock's challenger Taylor Vanover says he feels electric works needs to become a reality. And I want to see it go through and I know that if it doesn't it will be detrimental to the district and that's wrong and I think that it should go through. And we should do whatever we can to help it go through. Vanover notes every neighborhood has different needs. He would like to see the people have more say in how the city spends their tax dollars. So I propose this new policy which would involve um, the citizenry in the budgetary process and really require city council to be engaged in the budgetary process with the mayor. Election day is November 5th, but you can vote early downtown at the Rousseau Center. Satellite locations will begin next week. We have times and locations where you can cast your ballot and this story on WFFT.com. In the studio, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News. Only people living in municipalities or school districts asking for referendums will have elections to vote in.